Greetings, Noel Viewer, the good tonight here today. We're doing a review of the Princeton Tech Charge Pro. So it separates the Pro from the normal charge is instead of a uh, AAA battery that the charge uses, this one uses a CR123 battery. Pop out there, yeah, see? Bam! Slide that in there, click it in place. This little latch here is gonna hold everything together so it doesn't go all wonky and crazy on us when it's just chilling. So, comes with a variety of different options. The Princeton Tech lights are pretty much the most notorious uh, helmet lights that you can get. They mount really easy, particularly this one. It doesn't need any special mounting equipment. Just slides on so the recessions click it in place and then you just screw down that little tab into one of these uh, top recessions and you're all set. The Charge Pro sits high on the left, whereas the normal Charge sits high on the right. They're inverted. So if you, switch them, if you were to switch them, they'd be facing downwards. I prefer them to be on the upward side because one, they sit very tight and relatively flush to the helmet, and two, it keeps it out of the way of my ear pro, so it's not going to be snagging on there and causing me any sort of uh, difficulty. Now, this particular light is red, green, big old Max Bright 55 lumen white that uh, has a bit of a bit of glare to it, but not as blinding as anything over 150 lumens. And of course, if you give it a long press from the uh, off position, it'll turn on the IR light that you can barely see. Is that, is that better? Yeah, there you go. You can almost see it. And by almost, I mean I don't see it at all. It makes a little electric beep noise when you press it down. Oh no, well you can hear that. It sounds like it would be on your uh, your hearing test and they got you with the little clicker button and be like, is that a pitch? I think there's a noise there, I'm not sure. It's, <laughs> That's what it reminds me of most, but it does give you sort of an uh, indication that the button is being depressed. And you should go cheer it up. <laughs> so, yeah, so. Cool light, so the key benefit with the red is that it does not hinder your natural night vision. Now, red doesn't uh, go as far in the night as other lights, but it does still go. So, people might see that red light and be like, huh, that's a little suspicious. What are they doing over there? So, if you got a tarp or anything and you need to use your light out in the field, you can throw that on over, use it for that stuff. Um, if you're just doing, like, normal... Like, if you're indoors, it's not going to be as obvious. And if you're on the range, particularly, if you're doing your night vision shoot, pop, 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 die paper target, pop, 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 ah, the paper people will rise again. You can uh, blast them out real quick and, uh... You pop your nods off if you're not gonna flip on any lights or anything. You can just go up to the target and be like, "Huh, what's? Where did I hit? Oh yeah, I'll turn on my red light here. Oh yeah, a few impacts here. Oh man, I still really can't see. Long press, beep. Oh yeah, there's everything. Note down your stuff in your book. Go back, light off, nods down. Easy peasy. So it does have a variety of uses. If you're just kind of like chilling around and you got the lights off and you're like, "Huh, what's going on over there? Oh okay, cool. Uh, red light, neat." So there's a lot of different things you use it for signal. If you turn on the green light, you can, and people see the green light, they can be like, oh, is that people? No, green light. Uh, they would be using red. The green light means aliens, they're abducting my cows. Yeah, so you can do a bunch of different things. If the, uh, you're looking at something particularly red with a red light, you can't really make out the red from the other colors, then you could always uh, switch out to the green real quick and be like, oh, okay. Also, if uh, you got someone coming, you go, oh, stop. Nah, just kidding, come on, it's a green light. There's no yellow, I guess you can turn on your max bright. It's not really much of a yellow for a yield, it's, you know, kind of white brightness, so. Yeah. So yeah, it fits nicely. Everything's pretty cool there. It does come with a bunch of different other mounts. Now this is considered the upgraded version from the Switch that uses the, was it, the 2032 little disc batteries. This one's pretty simple. It's only got two LEDs, not nearly as bright. And it comes with a bunch of different mounts. It cannot mount directly into your helmet without extra mounts. So I like this one because it can do exactly that. And on the helmets is where I need it. So you can take it off and attach it to a headband, which is the only other real use I found for it. So if I don't need any sort of like head protection, I still want to go work on like a car or something, I can have a little head mounted light. Slides on, fits two little grooves in those little depressions. That's gonna sort of hold it in place, but not entirely, but that little screw, you mount that tight into the nubule recession, and you're all set. So, that's pretty much all there is to this uh, light. Unfortunately, it's not dark enough to see the IR version, but it helps out a little bit. In pitch blackness, it will come across as not as bright of a red light, but as a little sort of like fainted, toned down red light. So you can still see it with the naked eye. Unfortunately, it doesn't provide a lot of illumination, so if you're stuck using like cheap Gen 1 night vision, it's not going to help out a whole lot. But it's also, 
it's also going to be a lot more subtle than usually built-in illuminators on cheaper Gen 1 models, so yeah, there's that. So, cool little light. I do like it a lot. It gives me a lot of uh, extra advantages when I'm doing administrative stuff out and about and hanging out doing, you know, things. So that's all I got for you guys. Um, cool light. You can uh, move it around, do your things. Yeah, I mean, it's Princeton Tech. They're relatively well known at this point, so it is durable. It's water resistant. You could throw your helmet into the ocean if you so desire, and the light should be okay. Rest of the stuff might get a little nasty, but the, the light will be okay. So that's all I got for you guys. Hope this video uh, answered any questions you might have about the light, particularly the. Uh, my main concern was how the light was going to work with the IR because I don't want to be like, oh, let me go, red light, green light, oh, there's IR light, okay, now I can see what I was trying to do now. Being able to press a long hold while it's off is a really, really big brain, big brain play, so appreciate that a lot. So that's all I got for you guys. This will be the uh, last light video I'm going to do in uh, English for a while. Probably do a few in Japanese here in a wee bit, and... Um, yeah, so there is a place, a time and a place for low lumen lights. There's a time and a place for high lumen lights. And a time and a place for the, uh, the more middle ground sort of lights. And uh, knowing when, where, and how to use them it will keep you not dead. So cheers, everyone. Stay chivalrous. And um, if you have any comments, feel free to put them down below. There's a bunch of different makes and models of sort of uh, designs they got going on for these. And they're all pretty cool. But... Over the um, the switch and stuff, I know I talked about the switch and the points a little bit. The main reason I brought those up is they tend to be a lot more expensive right now in 2021, for whatever reason. And if you're looking at all that, you can't really decide what sort of like light combo you want to get, or if you're going to be getting enough power, you can just uh, pay that little bit of extra dollar and get the uh, Charge Pro, which will go a long way. Because yeah, if you're paying like almost the same price for the uh, the switch. When you could be getting the Charge Pro, then um, it almost makes more sense to go with the Charge Pro. It also sits a lot tighter and more beautifully on the helmet. Because it is upraised, it's not going to get in the way of my uh, freaking uh, step and visor or anything either. So it helps keep it out of the way and everything is Gucci. So cheers, stay chivalrous. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.